Hi guys, Pastor Preston is my name. You know, there's a big thing that's going on now, Judge Floyd, okay, murdered, yeah, and a couple of people are protesting, so many things are being said, you know, and it's very important that um, we look into this very critical, yeah, it is very wrong. Racism is anti-Christ. It is not in the character of Christ because we've been told to love one another, yeah, that's it. It has always been like that in every good uh, country, yeah, supports that we love one another. Okay, but uh, I like to look at it very critically. Are we uh, protesting because we've been afraid that it's not being done to us? Or we just think the right thing is we must love one another? Because we see that even the protests have gone out of hand. Some people are using it to loot people's property. So you see, one person is wicked in another area. You are wicked from another area. We all need to think about doing things the right way, doing things the God way. Glory to God, somebody. Okay, very important, right? You might be coming out to protect because you're thinking, I don't want racism to catch up on my chart. That's been selfish, right? We must learn to love each other. We must learn to love humanity. We must learn to live in love among ourselves, right? Whether white, black, or worn, our blood does not show anything different. As a matter of fact, a white person might be able to take blood from a black person if our blood matches, and then a black person may not be able to give a blood to another black person if the blood is not matching. So that tells you that we are one from God. Hallelujah. The white person doesn't have different organs, different structures within them from the black person. We all just have the same construction. It's just a different skin color. And I did a video to explain racism so you could get that video, right, and, and enjoy that properly so you can understand why we even have different colors uh, today. It's important that we learn to love each other. But you see, while I see a couple of people from Africa singing and shouting it, I begin to think about tribalism. Yeah? You hear people who say things like, don't marry from this culture, don't marry from that culture. They make sense of sense, but of the spirit, they don't make no sense. Because if any man be in Christ is a new creature, we are no longer of any culture. We are now of Christ culture. So we must learn to understand that to say that, see that no culture truly uh, stands as an hindrance. I understand a guy who is born again, who has not renewed his mind, might be performing according to his culture. And we know that culture uh, is still certain values in your life that may be different from another culture. Yeah, some people have become stingy by culture. Some have been wicked by culture. Some have been greedy by culture because their cultural values have just uh, carried those elements. Okay, but truth be told, if any man is in Christ, we all are in the company of Christ. We all are citizens of heaven, and that way we all should uh, perform by the same values. Hallelujah. And then be excited about it. So if you are tribalistic, then you are a racist somehow. That's something I need you to think about. So we must be careful how we, you know, criticize one from another angle, and we are wrong from another angle if they look at it as well. It's important that we learn to live in love. It's important that we truly love ourselves, right? Because of racism, a couple of ladies have not married because they are waiting for men of their own tribe. And Taurus are getting older, right? They probably would have seen people who they truly love. And then you have stop their happiness because you're trying to cause them in your own greed. Probably you want to come in a home where you speak your dialect to the guy easily or someone who understands your culture so when you come home easily they can prepare all your local dishes and all that. But sometimes you must think past that. People's life are not your life. Don't try to extend your life through their life. Everyone is a gift of trust given to you by God and you must carry them the way God wants them to go, not the way you want them to go in selfishness. Glory to God somebody. So while we're looking at the Judge Flood's issue and thinking that racism should not be and all that. Let's look at it from a perfect point. Not because we're just trying to look at the fact that we don't want them to hurt us more or more problems to come up, but because it is the right thing of love, that we love each other. Blacks loves white people, white love black people. Amen, somebody. And the same way, in every country that you are, we must also be able to blend, love each other, marry each other, uh, you know, uh, love each other in all truthfulness. Even outside of racism, too, the same thing happens in a lot of people's home. When you say family is first. What do you mean by that? Even when family is crazy, even when family is not making sense, what do you talk? When you say family first, it's not family first. It's God first. It's about the kingdom. It says love your neighbor as you love yourself. It didn't say love your family first more and then you love others with the rest. Uh-uh. We got to love everybody perfectly as God wants us to do. Let us begin to bring our life back to scriptures and not culture because all of all these nice things that seemed a satanic strategy to keep us in hatred, to keep us divided, to cause us not to work in the love of God, to cause us not to really excel the way God wants us to excel. And that begins to cause a lot of problems. It's very important that we pay attention to God of the Spirit and then respond 
in the love of God and not respond just from head knowledge or thinking. I know some of these values have been programmed into us very heavily, but the point is, if we become in Christ, all of all that should fade off as we pay attention to the word of God so we can develop properly as Christ thinks. We are supposed to think like Christ, act like Christ, and in Christ's judgment, we're supposed to love one another, right? Let's see things the way God wants us to see things and not just do things from our flesh or do things that makes a lot of sense or do things for our personal selfish gain. Glory to God, somebody. Some people are protesting because they don't want nobody to come on their property and destroy. They don't want nobody to just attack their children because they've heaped so much of, of the earth. But we got to think from God's perspective. We need to leave as one. It took God a lot to pull them together. I spoke everything to bring all of this. But when it comes to man, they took their time and formed them in wisdom. Glory to God. And they are God's great investment. So you don't need to allow the devil who didn't create anything, who is just trying to subvert things, who is just trying to covet what is not his, who is just trying to uh, turn wrongly what God had made rightly. Glory to God, somebody. So don't let him fool you. Don't let him put wickedness in you in the character of God is love. John said it. He said, God is love. As a matter of fact, scripture says, if you hate your brother, don't give an offering. We got to see a lot of things sometimes. Right when I travel abroad, we're hearing things like, this is a white church, this is a black church. And every time I hear that, I get really offended in my spirit because I don't believe there's anything as white church, there's not anything as a, as a black church. Right? Paul said, there's neither Jew nor Gentile, there's neither male nor female. We are all one in the Lord. So don't bring that discrimination. Don't bring that sentiment. Neither should you even bring denomination. We are all one in the Lord because we're not going to two different heavens. There's not going to be a white heaven and a black heaven. There's not going to be an African heaven, a foreign heaven, as it way, right? It's going to be one heaven and we're going to live together in love. Glory to God, somebody. So it's better you understand this and work in the righteousness of God and you live a great life. God will be excited with you and you will be doing what God wants you to do of the spirit. So stop the racism. God does not like it. It is antichrist. It is satanic in nature. It is the devil deceiving you of some form of superiority when it is really not. Okay, I'm not speaking as a black man. I am speaking as a Christ man. And I believe this makes a lot of sense to you. Thank you for listening. God bless you.